Hello everyone, this is the Mining Geologist and I am back again with another very exciting and very informative tutorial. I'm going to do my best to make this tutorial short and go straight to the point and to the idea of this tutorial. So recently I was trying to find a way either in the QGIS toolbox or the different plugins available to apply a gradient to a line or a polyline in QGIS. Let's say that I have a polyline for that represent the a road or like a pipeline or something like that and I want that to be like I want it to have a specific constant gradient from a starting point to the end of that polyline. I thought that this is, should be something uh, simple to do in QGIS and there should be like um, a way to do it but I was wrong and I couldn't find a way to do it so I tried to use some expressions but that didn't work and the only way that worked for me is through a Python script and I know not a lot of you like scripting so I ended up creating a simple plugin that will do this exact thing so that's what I'm going to be showing you here today is what is this tool and how you can use it and I know it might sound like a simple thing but I know that there is a lot of applications for this one. I've been using it recently and it's very helpful. So let's go and take a look how that works. So basically, let me first uh, start by downloading a DEM for this area. This is like um, a dummy area in which we are going to test this plugin. So I have this script here. By the way, the script, I've shared that in my Patreon page in the past, but you can basically download any DEM online for free, or I think there is a lot of plugins that does this now. So let me go and download. The first thing I would need to change this to latitude longitude first and then if I click on this one it's going to grab that DEM of this specific area and clip it on the fly for me. So this is uh, our DEM. The next thing I would like to change this to a metric um, coordinate system because a lot of people face this issue when they look at like DEMs in 3D using the this plugin here, the QGIS to 3GS. Uh, the reason behind that is that if you have latitude longitude coordinates here, so these are going to be two digit coordinates and you have the Z which is the elevation, it's going to be maybe three digits or sometimes four digits. And that's going to look like that there is a vertical exaggeration applied, which is not the case. It's basically that the scale of the Z is higher or bigger than the XY. So to fix that issue, it's really as simple as using a metric system with, I don't know, like six or seven or five digits for the XY coordinates. And then you can view them in 3D without any problem. So that's why I want to change this system as an example. And now let me go to layer and go to create layer and new temporary scratch layer. I'm going to call this road and I'm going to choose line string. The next thing is make sure that you're using the same system, especially for this plugin, using the same system as the one that you're using to display the coordinates in the canvas. And then all I have to do is before clicking, make sure to include the Z dimension because if you're going to drape that line and apply or like add the Z elevation to that string to each one of the vertices, you need that uh, Z dimension to be included or the script is not going to be able to pick the elevations from the or the tool is not going to be able to pick the elevations from your polyline or your line string. So let's go and click on OK. And then what I will do now is basically I'm going to digitize a polyline. Let's say that this is a road or something that we're interested in applying a specific gradient or slope to this one. So the first point you digitize is really important because the script for now, it's only going to apply that. Uh, it's going to use that point as a starting point for that gradient. So for example, if you want the gradient for, to start from this point all you have to do is to start digitizing from here so you you uh, cannot revert this so you need 
to make sure that you start digitizing from the starting point of your gradient. And now let me save this one. And then what I will do is I'm going to uh, select it. I think this is how it works in the new QGIS uh, version instead of... And let's go and do drape Z from raster. So I'm going to pick that DEM. And I'm going to click on this. And let me check. Let me save this first. And let me see this in 3D. This is our DEM. And this is our road. The it was not applied, and I think I know why. Because both of these they have two different systems, but it's a good um, thing to show you here, guys, how you can reproject the DM to a different system. So let me. This is the source, and I'm gonna reproject it to this system here. And let me go and run. And I'm going to go and remove this one. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing again, which is drape the Z value. I'm going to choose the reprojected and click on this, close. And then I'm going to save this now. And let's take a look at this one in 3D. You can see now that the elevation was applied. You can see that we have different elevation values. And now let's take a look at the DEM and you can see that it's um, looking good. So now if I move this down here, if I want to like see the, you know, the different, uh, you want to see, let's say the satellite image, that's how you do it. But now we're not interested in this anymore. I just want to show you uh, how that polyline is now in like we have like different elevations there so now the trick is I'm gonna use this new plugin that I've created so if I go to this one which is called uh, line grader I couldn't find with a better uh, a better name but uh, that's what I came up with and all I have to do now is to make sure that this um, polyline is selected so I'm gonna select this one and what I can do now is all I have to do is to set maybe a 10% slope. And if I apply that, you can see that it's saying that a 10% slope was applied starting from that initial elevation. Because remember, we draped our, um, our uh, polyline um, onto that DEM, so now we have different elevations. So the starting elevation is actually this 1880. So you can see now it's going upwards with 10% slope. So let's try 25 and we can sh see how that's going to change. And you can see now we've got that 25% applied and it works. So keeping that first uh, starting point in the same location. Now, if we do like 50 and it's keep on going up and up. It's a really simple plugin, but I'm sure it is useful. So I found some use cases for this one, at least for myself. And I'm sure a lot of you are going to find your own use cases. And um, basically, this one was uh, part of a, another tool that I'm working on, which is going to be for uh, pit design. And this is one of the ways that I was able to um, like I was trying to test how I can do ramps and this is one of the small scripts that I used for that and hopefully I will be able to share that with you in the upcoming tutorials so stay tuned for that and the installation of this script is really simple all you have to do is to go to plugin and manage and install plugin and like I showed you in the previous plugin it's the same thing but this one is going to be linked below it's for free anyone can download this one I usually use Gumroad to host um, anything that is downloadable. Gumroad sometimes is going to ask you to donate something. You don't have to. So all you have to do is just to click that download button. And you will be able to download this one for free. Of course, all my Patreon supporters, thank you so much. And everyone who's supporting this channel through that join button. Thank you guys for that. It's uh, because of you I continue to do this 
um, uh, tutorials and developing these plugins and there will be more in the future and of course you guys have access to this one through the patreon page and with that being said see you on the next one He's the mining geologist here to show you all the things that you might have missed. He's got plenty of software tips and tricks for your geoscience life.